Inflammation is the root cause of heart disease. Unfortunately, this cholesterol story is you know, stealing the stage as a number one factor in heart disease, but I believe uh, nothing is farther from the truth. I began to question cholesterol as a risk factor, you know, back in my early days. You know, being a cardiologist uh, during that time in my fellowship training mm -hmm. when I was doing specialized cardiovascular disease, even in those two years, I saw people like a revolving door. Yes. We patch them up with a heart attack, send mm -hmm. them out, and they come back in with the same symptoms. Did a lot of cardiac, thousands of cardiac catheterizations, took care of thousands of heart attacks. And wait a minute, I'm seeing people come in with heart attacks with cholesterols of 150. It didn't make sense. I would see people of cholesterol of 300, 350, come into my office and say, check me out, and yeah. they're in their 70s and 80s, and they're doing fine. Doing fine. <laughs> LDL is good for you. Okay. It lubricates your skin, Cindy. Yeah. Oh. It helps produce sex hormones, you know, your progesterone and your estrogen, which mm -hmm. you really okay. need right you now. You gotta I have them. Okay. I need yeah. those. And more importantly, it carries CoQ10, it carries vitamin E. See, I didn't the know. LDL all, does? The LDL. It's a carrier. Why do you want to get rid of that? You don't want to get oh. rid of it. So, the LDL particle, is very, it's friendly to us that way. Not all LDL is toxic. Mm -hmm. The only time LDL becomes toxic if you're in company with my dirty dozen risk factors. That causes okay. heart disease, not high okay. cholesterol. Okay. High cholesterol that's non-angry, that's non non-toxic, non-oxidized is harmless.